So, you've been looking at the brand new Criterion releases, perhaps the Wally 4K Disc or the Malcolm X 4K Disc, and you've been getting really excited at the prospect of owning these. But then you realise that you live outside of the United States, and Criterion do not even ship outside of the United States. So in this video, I'll be running through some of the best options for purchasing Criterion discs if you live outside of the US. And I'll be saving what I think is the best current option for this towards the end of the video. So do stick around for that. The 4K discs, by the way, are region free. So these are not region locked. So you don't need to have a multi-region player to play these. They will play on any 4K player. So this makes importing these particular discs even more exciting because they're open to a wider audience of Criterion lovers. Now, before I get into these best ways of getting your hands on these American discs, I have to say there is no cheap way to do this. It is going to be more expensive than buying your typical Blu-ray that you would get locally. So do be aware of that. It isn't going to be for everyone. This is for the people that really want a certain disc that you just can't get locally. If anything, it could make you a bit more selective with your collecting habits. If one of these discs ends up costing double what you would usually pay for a movie, but if you want it five times more than you want any other movie at the moment, then it's worth doing. With all of that said, let's have a look at some of these ways that you can get your hands on these wonderful Criterion discs. So first of all, the obvious one is buy some discs while you travel to the US. And this is not going to apply to barely anyone, but I'm just saying that if you're already planning a holiday or a business trip to America, then you might as well pick up the discs while you're there. So I know that's an obvious one, but worth mentioning anyway. On to perhaps more useful advice, the next way that I would suggest is if you have any friends or family or work colleagues who live in the United States, you could ask them to help you out. And this is something that I have done a number of times with the help of some of my family members who live in America. All you do is you simply go onto the Criterion website or the Barnes & Noble website and you purchase these discs but get them delivered to your friend or family member who is going to be helping you out. They then just ship them directly to you and obviously you cover all of the costs. I understand that this is probably not applicable to many people watching this video because you may not have friends or family members to help you out, but it is an option. Similarly, something that you could do is you could become friends with someone online who lives in America and you could sort of do a, a buddy system where you send them some discs from where you live that they can't get and vice versa. I know a few people that do this where they will send UK discs from Eureka or Indicator to people in America and then they will do the opposite. So that's another good way to do it. But again, you might not be able to do so. The next way that you could get your hands on these discs is you could buy them on Amazon.com, who do ship internationally, but sometimes they do restrict international shipping. So you'll have to ch check for yourself whether they will ship internationally. For the most part, I've had good experiences doing this, but I have also had some absolutely disastrous times, particularly when buying a box set from Criterion, where it's got cardboard packaging, it might be a bit delicate, so you don't want it to get banged or dented during shipping. Well, Amazon just seemed to ship this in a padded envelope, which when you think about how far it has to travel, you know, it's not going to survive. So I've had some box sets turn up in absolutely terrible states. Now, thankfully, they do have a returns program and they can refund you or they can send out a replacement. But it ended up taking months and months for me to actually get the item that I wanted in the end. So not a great user experience, particularly if you're buying a box set, which could be delicate. So be warned if you go down the Amazon route, it, that's something to consider. 
One of the good things is that you can prepay the VAT and the customs charge so that it won't get held up by the post office here in the UK or wherever you live locally. Because that can be a real pain when things get shipped here but then they're held by the post office, the mail service, and you have to pay extra costs and all that. It's an absolute nightmare sometimes. So that's one plus is that you can prepay all of that with Amazon. Uh, so it comes straight to your door. Another option, if you don't have friends or family who can help ship the package to you, is you can use a shipping forwarding service such as MyUS or Shipper2. These are services where the company will let you ship things to them and they will then ship it overseas to you. So it's sort of like a middleman where you pay them a bit extra for their service, but they will get the package to you. One of the things that they offer, which is quite good, is that you can actually ship packages to these companies over a long period of time and they will hold them for you. And then when you've done all of your purchases over the period, they will just ship one big box to you. So that's quite good if you're perhaps buying in the Barnes & Noble 50% off sale, but then there's going to be some other sale for another company or even something totally you know, unrelated to Blu-rays. You can just get everything to one company and then they'll ship you everything in one box. The only thing is, like with all of this stuff, there is an added expense. It can get quite expensive. So you've got to make sure that the things that you want to import, you actually really want. It isn't something that you should just do on a whim. Definitely consider it because of the higher costs. But now we come to what I think is the best option for folks in the UK and perhaps Europe, if you want to get your hands on these Criterion discs. And this option is eBay of all places. Now I've had you know differing opinions on eBay over the years. Sometimes I've used it quite a bit, other times I've hated it because of some really bad experiences. But I think this is actually the best place to get some of these discs. Firstly, you can look out for some deals on pre-owned discs, but these tend to be few and far between because frankly, Criterion discs are so good not many people want to get rid of them. So that's secondhand discs, but there are actually some sellers who are selling brand new discs sealed of some of the newest releases from Criterion. There is one seller in particular that I have used who I absolutely have to give a shout out for their service, their communication. They are called Boutique Home Video. And I know what you're thinking, are they affiliated with me because of the name Boutique? They're not actually, it's not, it's not me. I'm not just promoting my own service here. But it just so happens that they're called that because of the term Boutique Blu-rays becoming more popular over the years and such. So it isn't me, but I do want to wholeheartedly recommend them. The reason is they have imported the discs already to the UK. So if you buy from them on eBay, there is no long wait times. You don't have to wait for the disc to be imported or anything. They have them in stock in the UK. So there's no worry about jiffy bags being flown internationally and damaged packaging and all of that. They are in this country already and they'll be shipped to you within a matter of days. They are a bit more expensive than buying a UK Blu-ray, like I mentioned at the front of this video. But for what you get, you can pick up some of these brand new 4Ks from Criterion for about £30, and that's including the shipping as well. So actually, not that bad of a price for getting your hands on one of these discs. And I know that they are just about to get stock in for Malcolm X and Pixar's Wall-E, and some of the brand new Blu-rays as well, like Daisies and some of the others. So definitely, if you want to pick up some US Criterions and you're in the UK, go onto eBay, search by sellers, or you can just Google search, and it's Boutique Home Video. That's all one word, no spaces. And you should be able to find them. They've got over 100 titles for sale. They've got 100% feedback on eBay with hundreds of sales. So you can trust this seller. I use them personally. Actually, when I was in America in July, I was in New York City and I did that vlog about 
buying the Barnes & Noble Criterions and whatnot. There were actually two discs that I really wanted to get while I was there, but they weren't going to be released until a few days after I would have left America. So I couldn't get them at the time because it was just bad timing, but as soon as I got home, I was able to get them from Boutique Home Video on eBay. So I was able to get Carl Franklin's Devil in a Blue Dress and Martin Scorsese's Raging Bull, both on 4K. So, you know, I was overjoyed that it was such a smooth, easy process to pick these up in the UK. And I have spoken directly with the guys at Boutique Home Video. So if you don't want to use eBay, perhaps you don't have an account or whatever, you can actually just email them directly and you'll be able to purchase discs from them. All you have to do is email boutiquehomevideo at gmail.com and just ask them about what titles they've got in stock and for pricing and things like that. And they've even said if there are things that you want to request for them to get in stock, uh, then you can ask them as well. I know that they're expanding as well. They're not just selling Criterions. They're going to be doing Kino Lorber discs and other Region A Criterion imports. So if there's anything you want to get your hands on in particular, then drop them an email at boutiquehomevideo at gmail.com. If you want to stick around on the channel and get some Criterion recommendations from me, click the video that's on screen now. It's me going through my entire Criterion collection for three hours, talking a bit about each title. So watch that, get some recommendations. Hopefully you enjoy it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.